Testing, testing, testing. Okay, we are live. Armpits. Not really shaved, but who cares? Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And thank you so much for being here. Wow, oh my God, it feels so weird to film, but at the same time, I really needed to film a YouTube video today. So the time I am filming this YouTube video, as soon as I'm done filming, I am gonna quickly edit it and upload it ASAP because I just, I just, have to share what I feel when Wednesday I'm uploading a paid video which was filmed literally three four months ago so it's got nothing to do with the current events in that video so I just kind of just want to like let you guys know in case you're thinking why is me posting this video when there's so much shit going on going on around the world so yeah I just really wanted to let you guys know I hope you guys are okay and I hope you guys are taking care of your well-being 2020 is crazy but i really wanted to talk about everything that's been going on whilst doing a full face of fenty beauty now i really want to do a series on my channel where i do a full face of black owned brands so i don't want to do one of those videos where i try products from different brands that are owned by black people i really want to do a full face of just those products dedicated to that brand and yeah and just share with you guys some of my favorite products from them i will be doing a full face of uma beauty which i'm so excited because i just got an email from beauty bay saying that it is I'm in my way. I am so excited to film it because I love Uma Beauty. I actually have some of their eyeshadow palettes, but I've never tried their base products before. So yeah, you guys know I'm a base hoe, so I cannot wait to try that product out. Also, I was watching the Plastic Boys YouTube video and he did a full face of Fenty as well. And he said that some people are saying that Fenty Beauty is not a black owned brand, even though Rihanna owns it. It is owned by LVMH. I don't know who owns that, but I'm gonna share some facts with you guys that you're probably not gonna hear from like, anywhere else on the internet. So last year I actually met up with the PR of Fenty Beauty and I asked her so many questions about the brand and Rihanna because, come on, I needed to know. She was like my only contact towards Rihanna and I just needed to know some tea. So I was like to her, so is Rihanna really involved or is she just the face of it? Like what's going on? Like even though Fenty is Rihanna's last name, I still needed to know everything. And the PR told me that Rihanna is very involved with every single product that she makes for Fenty Beauty. She tries on every single product. So every single product that you own from Fenty Beauty, Rihanna has tried that. She's the one who approves it. She's the one that says yes or no. I don't know about you guys, but to me that sounds like an owner who really cares about her products. And even though part of her business is owned by LVMH, she is still very in charge with product development, which is so, so, so freaking important. So yeah, just thought I'd share that fact with you guys. All right, let's begin with my makeup because I, yeah, got, got a lot to share with you guys. So one thing that I really wanna mention in this video is that Black Lives Matter is a movement. It is something that is very serious. It's not something where it's a trend. Like I am very well aware that this is not a trend and I am getting really pissed off with some influencers who think this is a trend because it's not. Like how dare you take this opportunity to make content just to get likes, like, unfollowed, blocked, out of my life. That's how I feel towards some of those influencers. But anyway, I just wanna let you guys know that I don't look at it as a trend, not one bit. I just wanna use my platform and utilize it as much as I can to share and educate you guys about racism and how important it is to take care of the black community because they have been through so much shit. And as an Asian woman, even though I've experienced racism myself, it is not the same compared to a black person. Like I have a lot of black friends and some of the things they tell me just blows my mind like i have a friend who lives in america and one of the things that he's so scared of and he told me this like 10 years ago he said that one of the things he's scared of is walking out the house and a police officer stopping him and to me you know when i was like i'm 25 now so i was like 15 back then and when he said that to me i was just like that's so crazy and so not normal and not okay like that goes against human rights like you should feel safe to go out and when you meet a police officer you should feel safe because they're there to protect you but for him to say that he doesn't feel safe whenever he walks out of his house because he is a dark-skinned black man like oh my god the rage the rage the rage I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer if you're thinking of ways how to help 
the Black Lives Matter movement because I have been researching like an absolute crazy woman, figuring out how I can help, how to utilize my platforms. I've been watching so many um, bloggers who are black as well because I want my advice, I want to be given advice from them because I feel like they know what they're talking about. And I love Patricia Bright and I actually watched her YouTube video just now and she mentioned ways of how you can prevent racism and how you can advocate it and how you can help. So yeah, I'll link down below her YouTube video because it was so informative and so good as well. And everything she said, I'm literally gonna follow where. So gotta donate, gotta sign petitions. I've been signing petitions so much recently like honestly it's so quick and easy as well like you don't realize how powerful it is to sign a petition like one signature can really go forward with justice so yeah sign them petitions don't stop until your eyeballs fall out of your head i also feel like you'll really enjoy patricia bright's youtube videos like her videos are always insightful always real and she's such a bubbly person as well so whenever i watch her videos when it comes to political things she doesn't come across like aggressive she's just very like she talks to you like a friend so definitely check her video out please 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 do it's not a very long video either. For foundation I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I've only used this like once. I don't remember how it looks on my skin so I really want to try it out today. And I am in the shade 300 but I'm actually 290 but I'm just going to wear shade 300 because I got a concealer to balance out the foundation shade. I have been trying my best to be so vocal about how I feel and you know what to be honest with you guys I I was always scared to talk about political issues on my channel because I am so not academically smart like I have zero qualifications <laughs> like if YouTube and Instagram fails I will literally have no job I'll be like literally cancelled that's what I'm saying. But this past week and a half, I've been researching and just watching everyone protesting and advocating about racism. And, you know, growing up, I did unfortunately experience racism and it's the most degrading thing anybody could ever experience. And I definitely just want to make this clear, what I experienced with racism is not the same compared to a black person. So I just want to let you know that I am not comparing myself to a black person's experience with racism because I know it's completely different. But when I experienced racism growing up, it made me feel so scared to speak up I don't know why like when someone is degrading you and treating you like you're not a human and telling you that you're worthless and that you should go back to your country when you hear those words from someone that you think that would help you coming into this country my parents went through hell getting into England in order for me and my brothers to have a good life like for someone who is born, bred, and is from the UK or from America to talk down on you just because you look different and just because you're from a different country is not fucking okay. I was just so scared to stand up to those type of people when I was growing up in school and just, you know, experiencing just people on the streets, you know, eyeing me up and down. And especially with the COVID-19 as well, like that did not help at all. Like I really felt uncomfortable being online when the COVID-19 was going on. I mean, it still is going on. Ugh, a part of me felt ashamed that it happened the COVID-19 because the virus, and then, I mean, I don't know, there's so many stories like people saying that the virus came from a bat in China and, but then there's articles saying that this virus existed many years ago, but from another country. And it's just like, it's just so fucking annoying. Like, can we just, just, can we just focus on the fact that there is a virus and it just somehow existed? Like, can we just say that instead of saying this is a Chinese virus? Like, it's just so, frustrating. But as I was saying, my point is, going with my story, is that because I was so scared to talk up about how bad racism is and how I truly feel about it and, you know, fighting for human rights and talking about politics, it was, it was just always so scary for me. But then after the past, like, 10 days of just seeing so many people, especially the young generation as well, seeing how confident they talk about human rights, I'm just like, why the fuck am I scared to talk about my rights? Like, why am I scared to talk about other people's rights like I shouldn't have that fear so to anyone out there who is scared to speak up about anti-racism just do it just speak up and just be like this is not okay and people who are like oh I'm a silent protester I'm just like 
okay, like fair enough that like, you do your own thing. But if you are a silent protester, I really do hope that you are signing as many petitions as possible. And even if you could just repost stories from other people's blogs, like that's enough to reach out to some of your close friends and family to educate them about how bad racism is. I'm now gonna use the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 240. I love this concealer so much. So I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner of my eyes and then just doop. I'm gonna use a small Fenty Beauty sponge to blend out the concealer. I also wanna mention how annoyed I am with some of my fellow Asian brothers and sisters. Like, after everything we have been through with the COVID-19, being a Chinese person, we have done some crazy shit as well. Like, I'm talking crazy, literal, human rights problems shit. And yet, some of these Asian people that I am seeing are not being active towards the BLM movement. Like, it just really frustrates me. Like, this is the time to really talk about racism and how horrible it is. And it will really help help other race out there as well. Like I personally feel like the Black Lives Matter movement will also educate a lot of people about how important it is to save our black brothers and sisters, but it will also educate other people about how to be considerate towards other races as well. And I just wanna thank the black community for just being so active and vocal the past week and a half. Like you have no idea how much it means to me as an Asian woman, like experiencing so much racism in the past and online as well, it's not easy and it just boils my blood. But just seeing the BLM movement and just seeing so many people being active towards it like it just means so much to me because I fucking hate racism like it's the most degrading and disgusting thing and if you guys ever experience it then you know how much it hurts in your heart it's just such a horrible thing to experience this BLM movement means so much to me talking about something so political and that I'm so passionate about it's literally like making me break a sweat wow I'm now gonna go ahead and actually bronze up my skin using the new Fenty Beauty cream bronzers now I actually want to talk to you guys about how to apply this on because some people disagree with cream bronzers and I'm just like I love this it's so bomb I did have a brush with this but I lost it I don't know where it is so instead I'm just gonna use the Fenty Beauty sponge and just dip the sponge in here and the reason why I'm using this sponge to pick up the bronzers because I feel like it just applies better with a sponge and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna suck in my cheeks and just bounce the butt of the sponge just below my cheekbone and then try your best not to bring the bronzer down too low you don't want that you do not want that mm -mm -mm -mm. you want to sculpt and bring back the features that you already have because sometimes when you wear foundation it just makes you look flat and we want to bring the features that our mama and dadas gave us and also what i love about these bronzers is that it's so buildable like it starts off really light like you can barely see it but i really like that because nobody wants a super pigmented cream bronzer so trust me, it's a lot of work blending it out. In my own experience, you want to make sure that you have cream products that are buildable and not crazy pigmented. And you want to make sure that you blend the bronzer into the hairline. Like you don't want to have this white line across your hairline. It's not cute. No, 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 no. You want to make sure you blend it right into the hairline. Ooh. I am looking so like glowy. I really do hope that you guys are signing petitions. I feel like the people that follows me and watches my videos are so kind. Well, most of you guys, I did discover a few followers where I'm just like, we should not be friends and follow and block me. That way you never see my content again because I know for sure I don't want you to see my content. So. Yeah, I will leave a link down below in the description box to change.org. Honestly, that website is so good at signing petitions and fighting justice for innocent people. And I actually received an email from change.org and I really want to read it out to you guys because it really like, oh God, ah, it just really hurt my heart. But at the same time, it made me feel full. Like it's such a weird emotion what we're going through right now. It's like, it's so negative, but at the same time, what we're doing is so positive. And let me just read this out to you. This is from a 15 year old boy called Kellen. This is what he said. At first, after seeing the video of George Floyd, I didn't feel like protesting. I just felt grief stricken and exhausted. It feels like as black people, we have been fighting forever. In 2015, I went on the streets for the killing of Trayon Martin and Sheku Boya. 20 years before that, my mum was on the streets protesting for black lives. And before that, her mother was fighting too. <sighs> I wasn't sure I had it in me to fight anymore. <sighs> oh my God. 
my god, I'm getting so emotional reading this email because this is just so unfucking fair. But now it is an unpredicted moment, and as tired as I might be, it doesn't feel like a moment to hide from. No matter who you are or what your background, it's not enough to not be racist. We all need to speak up. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, I just had a little cry. I'm okay now, I'm okay. I need to carry on with this video because what I want to say in this video, I want to come across really strong. This is something that I'm so passionate about but always struggle to talk about. And sometimes uncomfortable conversations are the ones that you have to to speak about because enough is enough. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna carry on, I'm gonna carry on, I'm gonna carry on. So the next thing that I wanna apply on my face is the cream blushes from Fenty Beauty. I freaking love this. Oh my God, guys, I had a nervous breakdown because I was like, where is my strawberry drip blusher? And then I realized it was like hidden at the back of all my other blushes that I just, I'm just like, why? Also, a few weeks ago, I was so lucky to be on the Zoom call with Hector, with along with other amazing influencers out there who are anti-racist. Just want to say and put that out there. Hector said that if you get your finger and you pinch it really, really hard, you see how your finger like changes when you pinch it. That is your like blusher that suits you. So I have discovered that strawberry drip is my favorite color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty sponge again, but this I'm going to use this up here on the sponge because I don't want to mix it with the bronzer. I'm just going to go ahead and just tap it into my skin. And look, look, look at that. It's like identical to my fingertip. It's so cool, it's such a neat trick. So shout out to Hector, cause bitch, that is a sick idea. Oh, I am so sorry that this video is like mix of emotions. I just can't help but talk the way I feel. Like I can't come up here and just act like everything is okay when clearly I'm freaking not. Okay, I'm ready to talk about the change.org website even though that email was so freaking emotional to talk about. Please, please, please sign up to the mailing list. It's free, it's not junk, it's really important, vital information that affects all of us as humans. I have been signing so many petitions and I'm gonna continue keep signing petitions until literally my thumbs fall off because signing petition is very powerful. It helps a lot of people and also the best thing about signing petitions is that, you know, whatever's going on in one country, even though you're from another country, your signature is very powerful. It can impact and help that other country. So please, please, please do it. Okay, moving on to powdering my face. I really need to, pow I really need to set this face because if I cry again I at least want my makeup to look cute so I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty powder in the shade of banana. First thing I'm gonna do is pick up the powder on the lid so it comes with two lids and then I'm just gonna lightly dust it all over my face just to get rid of the shine because even though I want to look dewy that doesn't mean I want to look too shiny you know like I want to have that balance so I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes and on the center of my forehead but I'm not gonna put any powder on my high cheekbones because I want that to look nice and wet so when I turn to the side you see this glow Oh yes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a small Fenty Beauty sponge, dip into the powder and do a little bit of bacon. I have not baked in the longest time ever. And I'm gonna bake below my cheekbone just to help chisel my face because I wanna look snatched. Okay, so if you have it really, 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 really dry skin, but you wanna have that flawless under eye matte type of look, don't bake for too long. If you have super, super, super oily skin, you can leave the bacon for as long as you want, but for me, I am a bit of a picky bitch. I am an oily girl, but I only like to leave the bacon for about a minute and then go ahead and just wipe it off because sometimes me looking too matte is not cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it off. It's been a minute. Look at that! Oh, my skin looks so cute. Okay, so next, 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 next. Next, I'm gonna do the eyes now. So I absolutely love Fenty Beauty eyeshadows, but Rihanna, sweetie, we need more eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I understand these little mini ones, they're cute, but I just want like something different. I feel like I'm personally not satisfied with an eyeshadow palette from Fenty. I'm so sorry to say that, but girl, I am still waiting for an eyeshadow palette that will 
literally make my panties wet. So just saying. I'm gonna go ahead and use the number seven eyeshadow palette. This is such a pretty eyeshadow palette. I know this is not for everyone because it's quite like muted type of earthy colors, but it is so beautiful on the eyes. I'm gonna use Take Cover and that's gonna be my transition. Take Cover is a cute transition color. I love this so much. Also guys, I always used to feel so guilty about wanting to unfollow an influencer, but now, now I have no shame. If I wanna unfollow someone because I really don't like their content, I will just do it because I have literally discovered so many people that I used to follow, I don't follow them anymore, where I'm just like, wow, like if you don't care about Black Lives Matter, then what does that say about yourself? Like, and your brand as well. Like, honestly, I'm not gonna name names, I mean, you'll, if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Instagram stories, I pretty much spilled the tea there, but I didn't do it. Someone posted it and I just reposted it. Mm. It's just been so eye-opening. Like, I just can't believe that so many people out there are so ignorant. I am learning things that I wish was taught in school. Like, it needs to be heavily educated. Like, there needs to be assignments and essays about it because it is so traumatic and terrifying. And the police system in America is just so crazy. Like, I know I've got a lot of American friends followers but I'm really sorry I just gotta say it I'm not gonna lie every time I go to LA and New York I am terrified of the police officers in the airports I don't know why I don't know what it is but there's just something about their aura and vibrations that they give out to me and maybe I'm the only one who's thinking this maybe I'm just like overreacting but I don't know what it is man the energy that I get whenever I land into LA or New York I'm just like so scared and that's not okay I am going to use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt for you I'm going to use the blue on right here like who remembers this I think this was like their first winter collection that they launched when Fenty Beauty first was released so yeah I still have this barely touched it but it's okay because she's cute I'm going to use the blue one that pigment is so freaking insane I'm going to go ahead and blend it out I'm actually going to use my finger to blend Ooh. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I really like it. Like it's a little bit blended, but not too blended. Like the blue eyeshadow's got a shape to it, which I really like. I am living for this metallic blue, yes. Now, I did have a Fenty Beauty fly liner, but that was used and abused. It ran out of ink. I literally have none zilch of that fly liner left. So I had to say goodbye to it. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and false lashes off camera. I'll be right back. Oh my God, guys. Now that I have my lashes and liner on, I just feel like so much better about myself. It's just so funny how makeup can just make you feel so like cute. I am now gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty. What is this called again? I can't, I can't remember. Fly pencil. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty fly pencil in black to fill out my waterline. Oh my god, that tickles. Oh my god. Whoa. Does anyone else feel like that whenever they feel like they're waterline? It just like proper tickles. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line. Go back in with that blue little highlighter from the Kilowatt For Your palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend out my lower lash line. Moving back onto the base now, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty What It Do Hydrating Mist. This mist is so good, so fine. Look at that. Oh, mm, so good. And fan it down. We're getting hot flashes over here. <clears throat> oh my God. I forgot to contour my nose. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna skip that step because not every day contour your nose. I'm now gonna use the Fenty Beauty highlighter, but I'm gonna use the shade Afternoon Snack. This is what she looks like. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Oh. So cute, I love it. And because I didn't like put any powder on the high points of my cheekbones, because it's still quite wet from the bronzer and cream blusher, it's able to like amplify the highlighter a bit more as well. And that is what I am here for. I'm here to highlight all the negative vibes away. And then I love to use my finger when it comes to highlighting my nose, even though I haven't contoured my nose. I don't know how I forgot. But that's what you get when you don't wear makeup for such a long time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lipstick. I fancy going bold I fancy doing a little something something for you guys so I'm gonna use the shade go deep on my lips okay lastly I have been dying to play with this product but I never ever have the opportunity and I always have this product on my table for filming but I just always forget to use it but this time I don't want to forget to use it and this is the Fenty Beauty cognac candy so many people came at me when I said cognac 
but it's pronounced cognac. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and I'm gonna use it the Fenty Beauty brush as well. I'm just gonna apply this literally all over my neck and my clavicles. And in case you're wondering if I'm topless. I'm joking, I'm not. Ooh, Ooh hello girl. <laughs> of the YouTube video. Thank you so much for being here and just listen to me vent. I feel like I did a lot of venting in this video. I feel like I had a lot of shit that I had to let go of and I finally did, even though that just sounded really gross, that metaphor. I really do hope that you liked the makeup look and I also hoped that you was okay with what I said in this video. It was not easy speaking about how I truly felt with certain things such as the bellies at the airport. But moving on, I finally share that with you guys. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who feels like this. I want to leave this video on a positive note because I want you guys to feel good about yourself and feel empowered because that's like, that's what I'm here for. Like I'm here to make you guys feel good about yourself. So I really do hope that you take care of your well-being and your mental health. What's online right now is a mixture of positive but negatives as well. So do be mindful on how long you're spending online as well. Obviously be active offline and online when it comes to the BLM movement. I really do hope that you take care of yourself because it's a very sensitive time for all of us. Please do check out all the links down below in the description box. I'm going to be so informative in the description box on ways how you can help and resources and films I absolutely love watching. Just so that you guys know, if you are from America, okay. Just Mercy is streaming for free on Amazon Prime. It is such a powerful movie. I was crying my eyes out. You will know what scene I cried my eyes out because I don't know how any one could not feel any sort of remorse with that particular scene it is quite graphic as well so anybody out there who is sensitive it is very triggering this movie but at the same time it was so educational and yeah do check that movie out when you can just a few quick updates before I let you guys go this week I am uploading quite a lot of videos because I have not been on YouTube for a really long time and I really want to push out extra content for you guys so yeah just so that you guys know every Sunday I will be uploading a YouTube video I don't know what time just yet but let's just say between 5 to 6 p.m those are the times where I will roughly upload a YouTube video make sure to subscribe help a sister out it's for free and you'll be helping me out a lot because all the videos I do are literally pretty much for free help a girl out and take care of yourself guys and I'll see you very soon bye